so good to be back with you again tonight. Amen. Really enjoyed the fellowship of the Spirit last night. Amen. God is a God of purpose. Everything God created, He has a purpose for that. Now, a bird was designed to fly. And when the bird flies, it glorifies God, the maker, and it is glorified in itself. So you are created, designed to be a son of God. Amen. Created to be a temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Now, your only fulfillment, your only satisfaction will come when you walk in agreement with the calling that's on your life. Now, as we said last night, the devil don't care if you feel the Spirit. He, he don't care if you dance and he, he, don't, he don't care. Amen. But he does not want you to walk in the purpose that God ordained you to walk in. Amen to be effectual in the calling that is on your life. Now, God in His grace has written all of us a letter. Amen. He's written each one of us a letter so we'll know, Brother David, exactly what God wants. In this letter is contained the will of God for your life. It contains the inheritance that God ordained for you. Amen. It contains your identity. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So we're, we're going to talk about that a little bit tonight. Amen. He came to his own and his own received him not. But to as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Amen. As David said at the beginning of the service, amen, he chose the Gentile people, amen, to be his bride, amen, to be the church of the living God, to be bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh, to sit on the throne with him, to share with him in his power and in his glory, amen, ordained to be the hand of God, the voice of God. Now the power of God is in the voice of God. In the beginning was the word the word was with god and the word was god all things were created by him without him there's nothing that wasn't created amen and it is the voice of god the breath of god that breaks the cedars the breath of god that's full of majesty the breath of god that's greater than the flood the breath of god that causes the hinds the calf the breath of god amen that parts the waters the breath of god that parts the flames of fire it's the breath of god now the breath of god only comes in oneness with god he that's joined to the lord is one spirit there must be a union to have this union there must be a leaving and a cleaving amen there must be a separating and a joining there must be a oneness with him. I see where the Ethiopian eunuch, he knows about God. He's reading about God. Amen. But he don't understand the revelation of God. And God sends a messenger. Oh, somebody help me now. God's ordained. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Where there is no vision, no revelation. My people perish. Somebody say amen. But he said through knowledge the just shall be delivered. I'll give you pastors that'll feed you with knowledge. Do you know who you are? 
Do you know you're an heir of God? Do you know you're the anointed? Do you know you're the chosen? Do you know you're the called out, the ordained, the blood washed, the Holy Ghost filled, the church of the living God? Amen! Now, let's look at a story. I'm, I'm not very smart, so I like pictures. Now, we see a story of a king in the Bible. Amen. And the king's name is David. And prior to this reigning of David, he has made a covenant with Jonathan. Somebody say amen. Jonathan was his friend and he made a covenant with him. And he said, I want you to promise me that you'll always take care of my seed. Somebody say amen. Now David begins to reign and he conquers his enemies. Amen. And he remembers his covenant. And he says, is there any left of the household of Saul that I can bless them because of Jonathan's sake? <laughs> Y'all excuse me now. He said, I want to bless him not because he deserves it, not because he's worthy, but I made a promise to the son, Jonathan. I made a covenant with him that I would bless his seed. Does anybody know why we're blessed? We're blessed because of Jesus. We're blessed because he made a covenant. He said, this is the covenant I'll make with the people. Amen. Their sins and iniquities I'll remember no more. And their laws, my laws, I'm going to write them on the tablets of the heart in their minds. Amen. In their heart. He made a covenant. He's going to provide for me. He made a covenant. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. He made a covenant. I'll supply all your need according to my riches in glory. He made a covenant with me. Amen. Now, won't you listen real close now? He said, we know the story in 2 Samuel 9. He says, yeah, there's one left, and he's down in Lodabar. He's down there in a barren place, a dry place. Somebody say amen. A place of no provision. Now, watch what the king says. He says, Fetch him. If you look, that word up, it means carry him, seize him, lay hold on him, and bring him, 2 Samuel 9, unto my table. He will eat continually at the king's table. Oh, do you, do you know who he is? Do you know what he was? Do you know where he is right now? Somebody say amen. He knew you. He knew me when we were in dirt. He knew us when we were addicted to this and addicted to that. He knew us when we were in prison, incarcerated to the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eye. He knew us when we were bound to the old man. He knew us when we were unworthy, unholy. He knew us. And he said, I'm going to send the Holy Ghost to fetch you. I'm going to send my spirit to bring you out. I know you can't walk. I know you can't walk right. I know you can't talk right. I know you're lame. I know you're crippled. I know you can't help yourself. I know, but I'm going help you you got to 
know that. You got to know that while we were yet what? Christ died for the who? Christ died for the ungodly. Amen. He that were sometimes afar off, he didn't make you nigh because you got holy. He made you nigh by the by the blood. Now watch him. Mephibosheth was crippled. He couldn't even help himself. He said, uh, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw him. <laughs> he said, you can't come unless the Spirit draws. So I'm going to send the Spirit <laughs> to draw. Amen. Now, you got to understand and have a knowledge of this truth here. If I would sing this song, I would sing he could not go to where he was. He came. That's why he died. Died on Calvary. I could not go to where he was. Listen here, this is why I'm dancing. He came to me. Oh, you got to understand that. Now, we learned last night, he didn't only come to you where you are. He come to you to bring you something. Tell me something, saying, Amen. You could have sat there and you felt the Spirit. Huh? You could have said, this is all I want. I feel him. I'm blessed. I'm a, I got a new car. I got a new house. I got a good job. I'll just sit right here. But, Lord, come down inside of it. Amen. It drew you. What was it drew you? The Spirit. The Spirit drew you. Hallelujah. And because it drew you, you ended up with a double portion. You ended up something that'll part the sea. Something that'll roll Jordan back. Something that'll open blinded eyes. Something that raised the dead. Something. Amen. Now, the Spirit is sent to bring you. Now, now let's look at Psalms 23 and 5. And if you read that, it says, Thou, somebody say amen, amen. preparest a table before me in the. Now we ain't talking about heaven now. Huh? We're talking about something you got right now. Huh? We ain't talking about in a sweet by and by and you're going to do this and it's going to be all right. We're talking about something right now. He's a, he's a, he's a, something right now. I, I prepared. He prepared. Now, I, I don't know. Your aunt maybe make some good chicken dumplings. And, and your mommy make some good apple pie. And I thank God for that. But once you get to this table, amen, that God prepared a table. says, this is water here, in, in case you can see it. Now, now, this ain't like any ordinary water. 
letter C, and it, it's on the table. It says, whosoever drinketh of the water, I shall, I ain't selling it, somebody say amen. I shall give him, will never thirst, but the water that I give him shall be in him a well of water springing up. Oh, glory. It's on the table. There's a well on the table. It's meant for you. The grace of God has provided it. I know you didn't load the bar. I know you think you can't make it. I know you're weak. I know that. But I want to tell you, there's something for you. But you got to have a knowledge of it. you got to know about it. Hey, man, you got to know who your daddy is. you got to know what the will of God is. you got to know about Calvary.
true bread. This is what's on the table. Now he said he said something in Corinthians. Here's a danger. Well, I just brought one table, but he said, now, here's the danger. Don't try to eat at the table of the devil and the table. I'm preaching now. You eating at the wrong table. That's why your nerves are bad. You eating at the wrong table. That's why you're discouraged. You eating at the wrong table. That's why you ain't got no joy. You eating at the wrong table. That's why you want to give up. That's what I'm talking about, revival. I see. Y'all ever been in a double header? <laughs> now, ye shall know the truth, and the truth free from what? We've been preaching it over and over. Free from depression. Free from discouragement. Free from sickness, free from poverty, free from affliction, free from that old adversary. The truth is, you've been redeemed. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. The truth is, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. See, when you face the adversary, what do you do? I know what we all do. Oh, God, have mercy on me. He done had mercy. And give us a table. Oh, God, please help me. He done give us some help. I feel extra innings tonight. Praise God. A few more. Can we have a few more? Chicken and gravy. Oh, Lord. Now, now watch. Peace. Do you know the psychiatric business is booming? Ain't, it, ain't this kind of crazy? You, you go to one of them quack. And I just say, Come in here and lay down and tell me what's wrong with you. <laughs> hey, I'll do that for 20 bucks. <laughs> My peace, I'm giving to you. <laughs> My peace, not, not like the world just can't get this in any pill but the gospel. Amen, my peace. My peace I'm giving you. I'm giving you my peace. My peace. My peace. I believe in you, my peace. Peace that a man can't give you. Peace that money can't give you. Peace that a house can't give you. Peace that a car can't give you. Peace that don't come from this world. It's divine peace. I was going to sing another song. I'd sing this peace that I got. The devil didn't give it to me. Yeah. This peace I got. The devil didn't give it. Tell me the rest of that. And the devil can't take it away. Because your Bible say, give no place to the devil. Give no place to the devil.
this table. I need about four or five guys here. Well, if I can't get the guys, I'll get the women this. Stand in front of this table. Look this way. Now this table is in the presence of your don't take this I mean, this is just an illustration <laughs> now he said the table is in the presence of your enemies but now he is sending the Holy Ghost to fetch you he said, now, my fellowship, he's a disgrace, but I chose him to sit at my table. What, what is your enemy? Pastor, somebody can sing better than you. Your neighbor, your boss. Surely not your wife. No. Now watch. Let, let's look at her. And, and I, I want everybody to, to read this one here. This may be my favorite. Maybe I should have saved it for last. And I'm going with that first. Now what happens is he sends the Holy Ghost to fetch you to the king's table. Somebody say amen. amen. Well, I, I need a Holy Ghost. Does anybody want to be the Holy Ghost? Everybody wants to be the Holy Ghost. Amen. Big guy. Yeah. We got a big Holy Ghost on. <laughs> now he sent the Holy Ghost. He's on a mission for the King. Yeah. Huh? Praise God. A little feller with that fancy hair, dude, would you help us? No, you afraid? Okay. What about her? Is she afraid of him? Would you, will she let him hold her? Uh, that, don't, that ain't no good idea. Now, the Holy Ghost knows you can't walk. What's that song? You can't even. <laughs> Boy, if we learn that. <laughs> now, it's sent to pick us up. See, that's why you got to be weightless so the wind can carry you, see? <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why I said lay aside. Every, every, now we're going to depend on the wind to get us where we need to go. So we got to be light, don't we? We got to be weightless. What's going in the rapture? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Amen. So now the Holy Ghost is bringing him to the table, and it's right in the midst of the enemies. We, we all right yet? Well, wait right there now. Amen. Now, now let's talk about the Holy Ghost just a little bit first. He said, now, I'm not going to leave you by yourself. Huh? I'm coming back to you. He said, a little while, and the world, they won't see me. But you'll see me because I'll be with you and... Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Now, how many believe that? How many believe that? We're right in the midst of our enemies now. you got to know he's with you and he's in you. And there's a table here. you got to know. Amen. Is this right here? Can you read that upside down? Yeah, good. 
you're supposed to recognize fear any way it comes. Backwards, upside down, sideways. We start out, what if? What if? What if you don't hear me? What if I don't get that job? What if I get laid off? Let me read it. Let's all go to Psalms 53. Psalms 53. What's it say on the bottom of that? Five? Fear don't let sleep of her. How many's got it? Psalms 53 and 5. We need somebody with a loud voice. Now, I want you to understand this scripture here. It took me a long time to find it, but I found it. Who's got it with a loud voice? Donna, read it. Stand up. And, and don't go fast. Amen. We don't allow speeding in here. Now, wait a minute. There were they in great fear. What's the next line? Well, there wasn't any fear. <laughs> Donna, why was there not any fear? Y'all didn't hear that or you'd be shouting. He said, they was afraid and wasn't nothing to be afraid of because God done scattered the bones. He spoiled principalities and powers. He made a show of them. Everywhere. He went to hell for you so you don't have to go to hell. And he brought the keys back and he gave them to the church. What are you afraid of? I got the Lord on my side. He's with me. He's in me. He made me a promise. Hey, David's in here. Who is that uncircumcised Philistine? Why was not David afraid of him? Because the giant wasn't circumcised. He didn't have no covenant. He didn't have no promise. <laughs> he was big. David was little. But David had a promise. Can we go a little further? Now we didn't see that. Big one. If somebody would give me Second Corinthians 10, 4, and 5. Imaginations. Oh, I thought this and I thought that and I didn't think this. Read, David. Amen. What's that next word? Now, now Isaiah took it up like this. He said, whose report do you believe? <laughs> Whose report do you believe? You got to make a decision. Are we apostolic? Are we Pentecostal? Are we Methodist? Are we Baptist? Are we Church of God? Are we Nazarene? Are we Seventh-day Adventist? Or are we believers? Believers! Believers! The devil's a liar! Yes! Get a man a chair in our, the Holy Ghost is here. You, you, you adversaries keep standing. Give me uh, Philippians. We're just talking about a few of your enemies here. Tell them what to read there, Sam. What's the other one? First Peter 5 6. Do you know worry will kill you? Yes, it will. Huh? Worry will make an addict out of you. Yeah. You get a pill and then you gotta have two. Come on, talk to me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Worry will destroy you. Amen. You gotta get to the table. You gotta get to the table. 
God's with you. He's in you. You can. You can. Now, the only way you can fight worry, the only way you can fight fear and imagination is with the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Devil don't care if you dance and go home and stay up all night. But he don't want you to dance and then go to bed and sleep all night. You know what the Bible says? Submit to the Lord. What's, what's the next thing? Resist the devil. Submit to the Lord. What did the Lord say? There's a table up there, and I don't want you worried. I don't want you to be afraid, and I don't want you imagining things. Somebody say amen. Almost. Did we read them two scriptures? You got them read. Let's read 1 Peter 5. I probably got the wrong scripture, but I got the right Bible. <laughs> Amen. Let's read Mark 11 and 23. Have your Bible. Uh huh. And what? Say, who in God's, who in God's name? wrote that song, I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain. Six Hebrews, who's got it? Somebody get that one. And Hebrews 2 and 14. Look here, I've been covered up in the mines two times. The rock fell on me and they said, oh, it got old Brother Butch. Well, they dug me out. And some good brother got down on his knees and took his bank cap off and prayed for me, and they revived me. I want to tell you about something that's greater than death. We forgot how great our God is. We, we, we've become wishers and not prayers, hopers and not believers. Hey, he, he parted the Red Sea, honey. 
he can't over a million give over a million a drink out of an old rock. Amen. Who's got 2 Timothy 1 10? Nobody? You better get it. <laughs> this has brought the light. We can see it. What can we see, Pastor? Amen. What, what, what did we see? What do we see? He said, through the gospel, through the gospel, death is abolished. Amen. Lord, have mercy. In the midnight hour when it's dark and the preacher ain't there and the elder ain't there and the guitar player ain't there and the singer ain't there, you got the word of God. Death, take your hands off. Death, get out of this room. Death, I rebuke you. It's been abolished. Well, you won't need that till you get old, probably. <laughs> Hebrews 10, 2 and 14, who's got it? Now, now, listen here. Why do you think Jesus came all the way from heaven and took on him an earthen vessel? Tell us why he did that. He said, I don't took care of death. I don't took, I died. I died. I died. I died. I died. I mean, as us were baptized into Christ, and we're baptized into his. Oh, yeah. you got to stand up and tell the devil, you're a liar. I'm the blood washed. I'm the Holy Ghost filled, the sanctified. I'm the chosen, the elect. I'm the predestinated. Amen. you got to be bold. You don't have to dance. you got to speak. Amen. you got to speak. Amen. The word of the living God. Now, stand up, Holy Ghost. You must do. Look here. Watch this. Is God awesome? Yeah, you can let her go back to her mommy. Yeah. I wish I had a sucker to give her, but I ain't. Watch the grace of God. Without faith, you can't uh, give me your paper, her lady. Without faith, you can't please God. So he says, you can't please me without faith. So he says in Romans, so I'm going to give everybody some faith. <laughs> the Bible says that in Romans. He gives to every man some faith. He says, you can't please me without faith, so I'm going to give you some faith. So you can please me. <laughs> he said, now, I gave you the promise, but this is the victory. This is your victory. This is how you enjoy the promise. This is how you enjoy peace and love, and this is how you enjoy it, even your faith. This is the victory that overcomes the world, your faith. He that cometh to God must believe that he is. How I many been in 20 years and we said, oh God, if you love me, you may be you never heard about the cross? Y'all can sit down now. I know you're tired. I'm giving you faith. There's a table prepared for you right in the midst. Now, without faith, you can't please God. We're all the children of God by faith. This is the victory overcomes the world. Your Faith. According to your faith, so be it unto you. Look here. I was crushed in the mines because I didn't want to preach. I was too proud. I was making big money. Amen. A foreman. Making big money. And I said, let somebody else preach. I got a bunch of young ones and I ain't going to beg. God said, you're going to do what I tell you to do, boy. That mountain fell on me and crushed me. And they had a ambulance outside. My 
I got out there and said, we're taking you. I think it was Grundy at that time, Grundy Hospital. I said, please don't take me. They said, buddy, you're out of your head. Top of your head's cut off, your mouth's busted, your legs crushed. I said, we're liable. I said, I'll sign a release. Let me tell you something, there's a real, there's a real, hey man, I signed a release, five children, I didn't get a check, I didn't get no kind of payday or nothing, hey man, they took me home in an ambulance, had a little wind on the side there, went to the creek, passed her to get to my house, hey man, I had my head sideways, I looked over on a, on a porch, old gray-headed woman over there with her arms crossed, giving a kiss right here. I told that guy, I said, I'll be all right now. Amen. Now, you can sit. Nobody can take your place. Nobody can take your seat. This was my fellowship seat. Nobody else can sit in it. Now, it's up to you. Amen. There's a devil, amen? And his whole goal is to stop you, discourage you, depress you, make you give up. But you've got a knowledge now that there's a table here. You've got a knowledge that there's something right here for you. Uh, hallelujah. He said, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Hey, let's all stand, please. Amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Now, there's a table up here. Hallelujah. And there's somebody here with a need. Hallelujah. Somebody here. The devil's trying to take their peace. The devil's trying to take their joy. They don't know about the living water. They don't know about the true bread. They felt the spirit. They sang and felt good. But there is a oneness with God. There's a place at the table. Come under me. All ye that labor in the heavy laden, there's a place, and there's a place Moses seen all the miracles of God in Egypt, and he come out of Egypt, Pastor, and he said, Lord, I've seen the miracles, but I want to see your glory. He said, well, there's a place by me. I want to tell you a place at a table. Somebody say amen. you got to make your mind up. I refuse to quit. I refuse to give up. I refuse to be discouraged. I refuse to surrender. I'm a warrior. I'm blood washed. I'm ordained by the Holy Ghost to be an overcomer. I'm chosen to be a warrior. What's his name? What's his name? How much power? How much power? Where's he live? Where's he live? Where's the devil? Where's the devil? Anybody in here believe that? Let's praise him in the dance. Come on. Let's praise him in the dance. Let's praise him without music. Let's praise him without music. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Come on. Everything that has breath, wind, praise him. Mountains, praise him. Trees, praise him. Animals, praise him. Holy Ghost, praise him. Everything that has breath, praise you the Lord. He lives in praise. He talks in praise. He heals in praise. He delivers in praise. He works miracles in praise. Praise him. Come on, somebody help me praise him. Somebody help me praise him. 